What's up y'all, it's your man Jax and today I'm going to show y'all how to upload your own local files to Apple Music or iTunes and we're going to go over two different methods in this video so make sure you stay tuned, click the chapters below to figure out which one you want to do and if you end up enjoying the video, if you find it useful, feel free to like, make a like or leave a comment. So we're going to be starting with macOS first and on macOS I'm going to go over both methods just to get it out of the way because it's pretty much the same on Windows. First things first, you want to make sure you have your songs so for today we're going to be working with the new barter 16 leaks by uzi and we're also going to go ahead and add the original theme by travis scott with uh cardi and Sheck west on it i believe so the easy method is say you go to on thin ice or any other hip-hop news or media page and they have compilations that are already set up and ready to go you just download that from their drive you open up apple music and you make sure icloud music library is turned on you can turn that on in the settings of your iPhone or the settings of your Mac and you just take the file okay you take the folder or the individual song whichever one you have and you drag it and drop it into Apple Music. So you take it, you drag it and drop it, and it'll pop up right here. Now, when it first pops up, it's only on your computer. You have to give it time to calculate all the songs and whatnot, whatever it does in the background, and then it'll get to syncing. So if you're working with a lot of songs, you can just drag them and drop them, drag them and drop them, drag them and drop them. You just drag it and drop it. So we're just working with this one album right now. So we dragged it and drop it. You see, you make sure all 10 songs are here. You know, cover art, artist. Sometimes the genre will be wrong or sometimes the year won't be there so it's always good to double check and what i like to do is go into get info and you see how it says mixed album is a compilation of songs by various artists you want to make sure that that's checked because when it says mixed like that sometimes it'll pop up as like two or three different versions of the same album and once it syncs on your phone obviously it'll be you know all one cohesive project but just i don't like clutter i don't want there to be like 17 different versions of the same thing some of them have five tracks the other have 25 you know so i just make sure that that's clicked and that way if it's like uzi and somebody else that will be all in one place instead of separate so in order to get this to sync onto your phone you want to go up to file then you want to hover over library and you want to click on update cloud library click on update cloud library down here in the bottom corner it'll say it's updating your cloud music library you can click on the little eye to get a pop-up of your activity let me drag that over and this is where you get the you know in-depth information it'll say you know gathering updating and then when the songs are ready to sync it'll say syncing songs you know one of one one of 13 however many while that is going on in the background i'm gonna go ahead and show you method two and this one is a little bit bit more in depth there are two ways to do method two method two is if you have like a random file like this file that i downloaded i got it off of youtube that's why it already has the title and everything but it won't be like that in apple music um so you need an app like the tagger or mp3 tag the tagger is completely free but you're not able to tag like if it's explicit or clean like the advisory tags and things of that nature mp3 tag has a free trial but it is paid but you are able to edit the advisory so if you want that explicit tag you'll be able to add that in mp3 tag and the file format does have to be a .m4a file otherwise the tag won't show up at all in apple music if you don't care about the tag you can just take any mp3 and upload it in there anyway you have your file say you downloaded this off of youtube instead of getting it from a different source you want to open your app of choice in this case the tagger you want to navigate to your desktop or wherever you save the file is usually going to be in downloads but i put it on my desktop so here we have travis scott and you see this section on the right this is what's going to show up in apple music now there is also an, an a menu in apple music and you see this is done once it shows a little downloaded symbol that means it's done and it's being synced over to your phone but you can see in apple music and in itunes there's a get info tab but that's after you've already uploaded the song so you download the cover art you download the song and then you do you know the little boring part you can either do all the featured artists in the artist section or you can just do it in the title album artist of course is also going to be travis scott and for the album i'm actually gonna call this utopia sessions 
months. And then this is just going to be track one. Next, you want to put the year. So 2023 grouping composer comment. Those aren't really necessary. And you can choose whether or not it's a part of a compilation. And for the genre, you have your genres here. You can, of course, type in a custom one or you can pick from this list here. So we're going to go ahead and choose hip hop rap. We're going to go ahead and add the artwork. So you want to click on the plus sign. It'll probably just be in your downloads, but I have it here on my desktop. You want to go ahead and click that PNG or that JPEG. Make sure it's big enough to I would recommend like 1000 by 1000 pixels is really noticeable if you pick the wrong size. This is pretty much done. You can click here to preview how it's going to look. So you can click on the eyeball here in the top right corner and you can see how it'll look. It saves automatically and you can just close that and you can see that it's updated the actual file with the cover art and everything. And if you go back into Apple Music and drag and drop the song now, boom. Travis Scott Sessions, it comes up as the album. And if you click into it, it comes up as Fiend featuring Playboy Cardi and Sheck West as track number one. So of course you want to go ahead, library, update cloud library, and let it do its thing. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it again on Windows if you have iTunes. Okay, okay, okay. We're over here on Windows. Just for reference, I am running Windows 10, not 11, because my computer can't handle Windows 11. <laughs> you can see that Barter 16 and the Utopia Sessions are both synced up. So we're gonna go ahead and add the song. So how to add songs on iTunes, you want to go to File up in the top left corner. And you want to click on add file to library. OK, so it's not drag and drop like it is on Mac. You want to click on add file to library and then you want to navigate to where you have that file stored. You want to go ahead and click on the song. So for me, it's two out, just two out by itself. Click on it and click open and it'll add. And you see it didn't pop up immediately because when you do just a raw file like that, it just pops up in blank. It just pops up blank is no album associated to it. So you're going to actually want to search for the song it'll say it came up in an unknown album unknown artist and unknown genre so you want to click on the three dots on the right side and then you want to click on song info and then this is the same menu i was showing you on mac this is the same menu so we're going to fill this out right now and then for the artwork so when you go to add artwork you want to go ahead and drag and drop the artwork on there and then you want to click on ok and it'll update and everything looks good so i can actually go ahead and mark that as track number five and there you go i'll record a screen recording on my phone for you just so you can see how everything looks in the actual Apple Music app. Um, I just really wanted to knock this video out because I see a lot of people asking, like, how do you add local files to Apple Music? A lot of people don't know that you can do that. They think that that's only Spotify. Anyway, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace.